Hi everyone. Today I'm going to read the book Fish. It's another one of our smart words beginning readers. So it's going to be full of science words that you can use to teach someone else about fish. The author of this one is Cynthia O'Brien and it's published by Scholastic Books. The three chapters in this book, oh, this one has four chapters. The others I read this week had three. First, we'll find out what is a fish. We'll learn about fish features, acting fishy, and where do fish live? You'll see again, there's the smart word glossary at the end. Chapter one, what is a fish? A salmon is a fish, a shark is a fish, a seahorse and an eel are fish too. They all look different. Is anything about them the same? Look at those four fish. They do look different. Do you notice anything that's the same? All fish share two features. They all have fins and gills. Fish have fins to help them swim. They have gills so they can breathe underwater. This diagram of a largemouth bass shows the fins and the gills. Not all water animals are fish. Whales are mammals. Alligators are reptiles. A jellyfish is not a fish either. It is a plankton. Smart words. Feature. A special part of an animal, person, or thing. Fish. A water animal with gills and fins. Fish nests. Many birds build nests to protect their eggs. Some fish build amazing nests too. The stickleback uses plants to make its nest. The female swims inside to lay her eggs. The male keeps the eggs safe until they hatch. Stickleback in its nest. Some puffer fish make round sandy nest. The male uses its body to make shapes in the sand. He makes the nest just right to attract a female to lay her eggs. Here you can see that puffer fish nest. Let's look at it up close. When in danger, a puffer fish fills its stomach with water. It becomes much larger. Here's a guinea fowl puffer fish, and here it is all puffed up. Baby fish. Many fish lay eggs. Some fish carry their eggs in their mouths. Other fish let their eggs out into the water. Here you can see the eggs and it's a cardinal fish carrying eggs in its mouth. Inside the eggs, baby fish grow. When they are ready, they hatch young fish. They hatch. Young fish are called fry. The fry grows into an adult. The adult lays eggs. This is a fish life cycle. So the cycle begins as an egg. They hatch into a larva. They turn into a fry or change into a fry. And then they grow into an adult fish life cycle a series of changes that happens over the time of an animal or plant, and fry is a young fish. A shark is a fish, but it does not lay eggs. A shark's baby is called a pup. It looks like its parents, only smaller. A shark pup leaves its mother right after it's born. Use your smart words. Put the fish life cycle in the correct order. Put eggs at the top. What comes next? You can pause here and do that. What order do these go in? Talk like a scientist. One fish feature is its gills. What kind of features do you have? Which is not a fish? One of these animals is not a fish. Use your finger to circle the one that does not belong. There's an American alligator, a flying gurnad, 
a mandarin fish, a manta ray, a mud skipper, and a yellow cowfish. Chapter two, fish features. Do fish breathe? They do. Like you, fish need oxygen. You get oxygen from the air. Fish get it from the water. They use gills to do this. Gills are small openings on a fish's body. If you look at the snapper and the grouper, you can see them. Here you can see gills on the shark. This is a great white shark and on this basking shark. Some fish have covers on top of their gills, but sharks do not. They have openings on the sides of their heads. First, a fish takes water into its mouth, then it closes its mouth. This forces the water out of the gills. It does this again and again. This is how a fish breathes. Smart word, gills. Opening on a fish's body that help it to breathe. Fins and tails. Most fish have fins. They help the fish to move in the water. The fins on a fish's side help it to steer. Some fish's fins can even help them to move through the air. Fin, a thin flat body part that fish use to swim in water. Many fish have fins on the top and the bottom too. These fins keep it from rolling over. You wiggle your feet when you swim. Fish wiggle their tails. A tail is really another fin. Tail fins help fish to swim. The sailfish is the fastest swimmer of all. Scales. Your skin protects your body. What protects a fish? It's scales. Fish scales can be small or large. Some have smooth edges, some have sharp edges. Smooth scales of a uh, garbaldi damselfish, and here are sharp scales of a goby. Scales are thin, thin plates that cover the body of a fish or reptile. Here we can see shark scales. Notice how the, all the scales are different. Scales fit together. They make a pattern on the fish's body. A sharp scales look like pointy teeth. What do you think the goby scales look like? Oops, this one's the goby, sorry friends. Some fish do not have scales. They have a layer of slime. This makes them slippery to catch. This is a pine cone fish. Use your, sm use your smart words. Look at this diagram. Can you label the major fish features? Don't forget the gill cover. So they have the scales labeled. Can you name the rest of the parts? Talk like a scientist. What do you and a fish have in common? You both need to breathe. Fish use their gills. You use your lungs. What do you do when you're underwater? You can pause here and do this word search. See if you can find these words in the word search. Acting fishy. What do fish do? Most of the time, fish swim and eat. Some fish take rest. Other fish, like sharks, swim all the time. Sharks are hunters. They swim all over to find their food. A parrotfish eats plants. Can you guess what a mosquito fish eats? A stonefish and a stargazer just wait for food to come along. They hide on the seabed. Then they snap up passing fish. Oh, remember when we learned about how some animals camouflage themselves. Safe and sound. Large fish and other animals eat fish. How do smaller fish stay safe? They use defenses. Many fish swim together in a school. 
it is safer to stay together. Defense, a way to protect against danger. How else do fish protect themselves? Seahorses change color to hide from danger. A porcupine fish makes itself look big and scary. Its pointy scales keep other fish away. The lionfish looks beautiful, but watch out. It has poison in its fin. Deep down, deep in the ocean, it is very dark. Fish that live here have to adapt. The blobfish has a jelly-like body. It can survive under the great pressure of the deep sea. Some deep sea fish cannot see. They smell or taste to find their way. Adapt, to change in order to live in a certain place. Other fish make their own light. The light makes it easy to see food and snatch it up. The flashlight fish lights up its eyes. The angler fish has a light on its head. Hatchet fish and lantern fish have lights along their bodies. Use your smart words. Look at the pictures. Find the fish hiding in each picture. These fish are all using camouflage as a defense. Make your own picture to show another fish defense. I'll bring it in closer so you can pause and look for those fish. And then here, can you use your smart words to finish these sentences? Here's another talk like a scientist. Fish adapt to the place where they live. Other animals do this too. Do people adapt? How do you think we do this? Ooh, think about that. Have we had to adapt the last several weeks? Chapter four, where do fish live? The place a fish usually lives is its habitat. All fish live in water habitats, but not all water is the same. Many fish live in the oceans and seas. These are saltwater fish. Other fish live in lakes and rivers. These are freshwater fish. Smart words, freshwater. Inland water such as a lake, river, or pond. Habitat, the place where an animal lives. Salt water, the salty water of an ocean or sea. Swordfish, mandarin fish, and sharks live in salt water. Carp, pike, and trout live in fresh water. Salmon lay their eggs in river, then swim back to the sea. So they spend part of their time in fresh water and part in salt water. A colorful home. A coral reef is a special fish habitat. A coral reef grows in warm water. It needs sunshine to grow. Coral looks like a rock, but it is a living thing. Many types of fish live in coral reefs. The coral, the fish and the coral are colorful. The coral provides food for the fish, so it is important to take care of the coral reef. Many fish and other animals depend on it to survive. Use your smart words. Look at the pictures of these colorful fish. They live in different habitats, but in the same type of underwater, I'm sorry, they live in different areas, but in the same type of underwater habitat. Can you guess what it is? Draw a picture. Look at all those colorful fish. What do you think? What would their habitat be? A coral reef is a habitat. Use your smart word in another sentence about fish. And here we have our glossary. You can stop and review the words on these two pages. If you didn't stop and use your smart words and talk like a scientist, you can do that now that we've finished.